we'll look at three types of fractions. Proper fractions, here's two examples. Improper fractions, here's two examples. I'll have to show you another example that's not here. Also mixed numbers, these can be called mixed fractions. We'll start out looking at proper fractions and improper fractions. Another example of an improper fraction would be a fraction like 7 sevenths. For any type of fraction, the top number is the numerator. The bottom number is the denominator. With proper fractions, the numerator is less than the denominator. With improper fractions, the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. If I want to represent two-thirds with this shape, I first pay attention to the denominator. This tells me I want thirds, so I need to divide this shape into thirds. Now it's divided into thirds. And the numerator tells me how many thirds I have. So I have two thirds. That means I'll shade in two thirds. So I've represented two thirds with this shape. If I want to represent two thirds on a number line, again I turn my attention to the bottom number, the denominator. This tells me to divide my number line into thirds. That is, each one of these hash marks is going to represent one-third. I'm going to put zero in the middle, just because I'm going to show you positive values. But for this one example, I'm also going to show negative values. And again, because the denominator is a three, each of these hash marks is one-third. And notice that 3 thirds, 3 divided by 3, is also 1. So if I want to represent the fraction 2 thirds on a number line, it's divided into thirds. I simply come over 2 thirds and put a dot. For the negative values, it proceeds the same as the positive, except each value is, of course, negative. So the first slash is negative 1 third. And a negative 3 thirds is the same as a negative 1. So with proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. Another way to think of that is it's a number between 0 and 1. But technically, it's a number between negative 1 and 1. If we had been given a negative 2 thirds and asked, is this a proper fraction? The answer is yes. This negative two-thirds is a proper fraction. I suggest you pause the video and see if you can represent five-sixths graphically with this rectangle. I would use vertical bars. And then see if you can represent it on the number line. I'm going to start with my zero on the far left side, and I'm only going to include positive values. I'm not going to worry about negative values with this example. Sixth. We'll shade in five, six. So we've represented five, six with this rectangle. To represent five, six on the number line, Based on the denominator of 6, we'll divide this number line into sixths. That is, each hash mark will be a sixth. And to represent 5 sixths, once we have it divided into six, you simply count over 5 hash marks and put a dot. 
Now 6 sixths is the same as 1. There's other fractions in here that I could simplify or reduce. I'll cover that in detail in another video. Looking at this improper fraction, if I want to represent 8 fifths with these shapes, I first turn my attention to the denominator. This tells me to divide the shape into fifths. To determine how many fifths I shade in, I look at the numerator. I'll shade in 8 fifths. So now I've represented 8 fifths with these two circles. If I want to represent 8 fifths on a number line, I'd look at the denominator. It tells me that each hash mark on the number line will be a fifth. I'll put 0 on the far left side, and I'm only going to look at positive values. Once it's divided into fifths, for eight fifths, I simply count over eight hash marks and put a dot. Now notice that five fifths is one, ten fifths, ten divided by five, that's two. There's no other fractions here that can be reduced or simplified. These can be written as mixed numbers, but that's not considered simplifying. That's just changing it to a mixed number. You might want to pause the video and see if you can represent 9 fourths with these rectangles and then on this number line. And again, with the number line, I would put 0 right here and just worry about positive values. And the numerator tells me how many fourths to shade in. I've represented 9 fourths with these rectangles. And to represent 9 fourths on a number line, based on the denominator of 4, I'll divide this number line into fourths. That is, each hash mark will be a fourth. I'll start with 0. And to represent 9 fourths, once my number line is divided into fourths, I simply count over 9 spaces and put a dot. Now notice that 4 fourths, 4 divided by 4, is 1. 8 fourths, 8 divided by 4, is 2. And again, there are some fractions here that can be simplified. I'll cover that in another video. Now each of these improper fractions could be represented as a mixed number. I'm going to pick on 8 fifths because it's the same as 1 and 3 fifths. 8 divided by 5 is 1 with 3 left over and you keep your denominator. So 1 and 3 fifths is just another way of writing 8 fifths. They occupy the same place on the number line. And notice with the circles, we shaded in 1 and 3 fifths circles. See if you can figure out which of these is 2 and 1 fourth. Nine divided by four is two with one left over and you keep your denominator. And notice with the rectangles we shaded in two and a fourth of them. So two and one fourth is the same as nine fourths. I can change back and forth between these different forms and that's always the case in math. You can change the way numbers appear but you cannot change their value. I'll show you a couple examples. 
Now on the previous sheet, I went from an improper fraction to a mixed number. To do that, again, it's 17 divided by 8. 8 goes into 17 twice. That's 16. And there's one left over. So 17 eighths can be written as 2 and 1 eighth. These both represent the same amount of stuff. If I want to go from 2 and 1 eighth to an improper fraction, I multiply 8 times 2 is 16. I add the numerator, 17, and I keep the denominator. You might want to pause the video for a moment and see if you can write this mixed number as an improper fraction. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23, and you keep your denominator. And now you might pause again and try to go from improper to mixed. And 3 fourths. If you'd like some practice with these concepts, as long as you're at my website, I have a worksheet with a detailed answer key. And the worksheet really just involves identifying what type of fraction and then drawing a line to its graphic representation.